Rock units of the Cincinnatian system or division, series Cincinnatian, stage, Maze Villian, and formation. We're focusing in on Fairview. I just wanted to point out that the Fairview is named after Fairview Park, subdivided into Mount, the members Mount Hope and Fairmount. This is complex how these divisions are made, but I just wanted to give a brief introduction. Here's an illustration of some of the most commonly found fossils in the Fairview. And this is taken from the Cincinnati Fossil Book by Richard Davis. You'll find that in your local library. Fairview Park, and this is what the Fairview Fossil Lair, Rock Lair, was named after. These rock layers that are exposed here are just jam, pull, jam full and packed with uh, very big brachiopods. The best time to come here to look for these is in the fall. You'll be able to see the rocks a little easier without, without all the uh, bushes and growth. We're going to go into the underbrush. This big rock chunk of uh, limestone shale is all falling down the cliff. Kind of stopped here. Lots of weathered out little fossils are here. Big chunk of bryzoan. Another big chunk of bryzoan. Half a half a brachiopod shell. Bryzoan. Found a beautiful platystrophia. Hole. The whole hillside uh, is just strewn with uh, lots and lots of limestone rock on the forest floor. It's a very big bryzoan. You have to watch out for the garbage and the glass. But, look what I just found. Nice, bro, nice cephalopod. It's very unusually flattened like that. This gray area is the real fossil of a cephalopod. It's 11 and a half inches. The other ends are sculpted, sculpy clay that's been sculpted and painted. And um, this was found, the fossil was found uh, in Fairview Park in the top of those cliffs uh, several years ago. Pixie shells. Watch out for the glass. Very big whole brachiopod, Raphnaschina. It's collapsed in, a little bit deformed. These are modern day snail shells. 
that have all died here. I did not put them in a row. That's the way I found them. Mixed in amongst the fossils. Here is the uh, scenic view, the fair view, that the park is named after. Many of the limestone rocks in and around Cincinnati are local and they're used as building materials for our retaining walls. And if you look carefully enough, you can find fossils in many of them. And this big dome-shaped building is the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Natural History Museum. Great place to learn about our fossil heritage. And looking out at this hill cut here, I see cliffs, limestone cliffs. And this is the city of Cincinnati. And the rock layer underneath our feet is called the Cincinnati Series. Worldwide, it's named after our city. The time in Earth's history is called the Cincinnati Epoch. We're standing on top of the Cincinnati Arch. It extends 200 miles in all directions, revealing these wonderful Ordovician rock layers. Okay, up on this hill, and right along here, I found some very huge bryzoans. I'll show you that back home. Here's the other scenic view of Fairview Park. If you come up to these walls, watch out for lizards. We have uh, imported lizards that came from Florida, but they've managed to uh, take off here in Cincinnati. They can hibernate through our winters, so look for them along these walls. It's a hazy day in the summer downtown Cincinnati. There's the crew tower. A lot of these are inverted on this side. Here in the backyard I've got them along the patio as well. 